Right, we're back today. We're looking for three points on a row. We're here at Bolton. We're at the Beehive today. A few town fans congregated in here. But let's hope we can get three points. Come on. Right, welcome back guys. So yeah, Tuesday night, absolute pandemonium when that goal went in from Caden Jackson. 2-1 victory to town, just what we need on the table, a few, you know, points. We need points, don't we? Sipswich Town, we want to go for the league, don't we, this season? Anyway, let's come into the beer garden. Let's start first, let's, let's go over to town fans. What a beautiful beer garden, boys. What a beautiful beer garden. How's, how's your day so far, good? How, what are we expecting, three points today? Easy, yeah, I like to think so. 4-0, 5-0? 4-0, 5 Based on what? No, no, no. Yeah, I like to think, well, we're playing a strong team, aren't we? Two up top, it's what we like. Kind of thought, are we going to rest some players? But, you know, end the game half-time. Really confident. What do you expect at half-time? What, what result? A result, what, what score do you expect at half-time? 2-0. 2-0, i like to see 2-0, Norwood get up there, get a goal in, see what we can do. The thing is, with these games, it can be a bit difficult, can't it? You'd yeah. expect us to run out and absolutely control this one, but, you know, being Ipswich Town, can we actually do that? <laughs> Say that again. We could do a classic Ipswich Town, 0-0 yeah. nil, nil, half-time, scrappy, are we going to see 94-minute limbs again? I don't think we'll see any limbs today, purely because of the occasion, but, look, I like... No, I can't do another limbs. <laughs> But I like your shirt, mate. Love it. But hopefully, boys, we'll get a result, all right? Come on, let's go in. So, yeah, the Beehive. You know, well-established well pub. Beautiful place. Come in here. Let's see who we got. Let's see what's going on in here. All right, come over to the boys here, look, firstly. All right, lads. So what are we expecting today, then, in, in terms of results? 3-0. Comfortable Three win. Comfortable. Comfortable win. Everyone's saying comfortable win, aren't they? But are, are you worried in the sense that Town could be that team that get you know get thrown under the bus by Bolton? He's got too strong of a team. We need to do that. No. Um, it's typical Ipswich to do that. They've yeah. last scored when they played us last season, so that's Ipswich. Here we go again. We're one 0 down against Bolton, but now nah, we'll be alright. The theory is, is that our team would would be the one to go under, wouldn't it? I can't see that. I can't no, see I can't it. see I can't that. Get, get I, no, I, I think three 0 all the way. I think. Yeah. yeah it's um. So, I'm pretty much on that as well. Three 0 and I'll be absolutely happy with that. But I'd expect more. When, am I being greedy? I'd expect more, yeah. But I mean, you've got to have some respect for the opposition, don't you? I mean, it's easy to say, oh, five six 0 we're only playing kids. But I mean, they're kids with heart, you know. And so. Well, let's just flash back to two of the results they have had. They have five two loss to Rochdale, and they lost five 0 to Tranmere. Are we saying we're lesser teams than Rochdale and Tramie? Well, no, we're not lesser teams than Rochdale and Tramie, yeah, but, you know, that's, football's not played on paper, isn't it? That's, you know, that's... Unfortunately, mate, it's not, and I do love paper. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Cheers, boys. <laughs> let's go over here. <coughs> Make sure you get those bar ladies in, they love them. Yeah, look, we'll come over here so the bar ladies are all in, they can't move. You right, boy? So what are you expecting today in, in terms of uh, Ipswich Town against Bolton? Well, we should really be hitting four or five today. Yeah. Um, but we want to play some football, don't we? Yeah, of course. So uh, just let's let's play some nice football and uh, stamp our, our our authority on these uh, teams now. It's what we need to start doing. It's important to show that we're, you know, if we want to go as, go up as champions or win the league or even be involved in promotion chase, that we actually show teams that we're. We're not messing about this season. Yeah, I'd say uh, no one's scared of us at the moment. No, we need to Tuesday start. night did actually scare me, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, yeah, just a bit. I thought we were, that was it, right? Yeah. Same old, same old. But uh, it was good to see us actually, uh, you know, come back, come from behind yeah. and then still still get that winner. That, that's something we haven't done for a few years now. So we have to take that as a positive. So what do you reckon then, score prediction? Yeah, four or five today. Four or five, four or five. Lovely job, mate. Cheers for that. Right, come over here. They're making too much noise over here, aren't they? <laughs> he, 
Hold on, hold on. Who do you support? The obvious Superstar, obviously. Silly question, really. Boys, do you think we need to stamp our, you know, stamp our um, authority on this league today? Um, I think we stamped our uh, authority on the league in the second half. Uh, on Tuesday night, well, you're not worried with that performance. First half, yeah, it was difficult. Uh, but second half, we came out and we conquered. So I think today could be a training game. If we don't uh, play well today, then it could be an issue, obviously. Yeah. But um, after a few beers, I think we'll do it. <laughs> We're slap bang in the middle of a six-pointer, aren't we? We'll be all right today. Yeah. Six points, definitely on the board, isn't it? We'll six one. Well, yeah. Good singing, by the way, boys. Good lungs. Good lungs. <laughs> all right, come over here. Come over here. And I mate, you're right. Hi. Sexual chocolate. Sexual chocolate. Who's he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> They've had a few bevies by the sounds of it. You know, I love that vibe. But what are we looking for today? Anything, any win. It yeah. doesn't matter, does it? It's early in the season. I'd take a 1-0. It's yeah. another three points. So you wouldn't be worried if we did We went out against Bolton today and didn't absolutely smash them off the park? No, not at all. I've seen the way we've been playing. We've not been too smart and we've got the wins. I've, I watched the highlights of Tranmere versus Bolton and they're not as bad as what... The, the scoreline suggested yeah. so I, I think any win is a good win I'd love to smash them of course I would yeah. but it'd be a be good nice, day be nice wouldn't it be yeah, nice of it would I have goal difference as well but at the end of the day a win is yeah. what we want isn't it um, a good a good time for uh, strikers to get some goals today isn't it yeah. Norwood and Jackson you know get a few in maybe get a, a bit of confidence maybe a midfield player as well yeah. um, we've got a few that need to get off the mark I mean yeah. Edwards uh, yeah. he hasn't started this season no um, just yeah let's see how it goes we'll see. I, I, we'll see these games never turn out how you think they are I, I, I hope we're celebrating a win at 90th minute I really do because everyone's so confident and it'll be nice after that journey I've just had sometimes you can get too overconfident can't you and you oh, think yeah. this will be the walk in the park and I don't think it'll be the walk in the park if it is great but if it ain't if we get the win be a nice day with this weather wouldn't it yeah. cheers mate <laughs> right then boy yeah come in what do you reckon then mate oh hold on hold on we've got an Ed Sheeran we've got an Ed Sheeran shirt here oh here we go here we go last night it was good right Road. Live across the roads, and you paid 80, 80 quid to go across the road. Yeah, my daughter went was great. Yeah, it's great. It's all right then. Now. Go on, give us a little. But my daughter's thirty three, so that was great. Chantry boys. So. Yeah. Chantry boys. Chantry boy. Anyway, Chantry boy with your divide shirt on. What are you what are you thinking today? Safety words for people. Yeah. Good boy. He was fantastic, lads, and I was shattered. He'd always stop, come round, and ask, drop books off, when he George. He'd come and see us all the time, stop in the middle of the street, just talk football. Yeah. Always in flip-flops. Yeah. Didn't matter what time of the year it was. Fantastic guy, yeah. Legend, absolute legend for this club. And hopefully that statue will be sorted out sooner rather than later. What's that? The statue. Oh, definitely will, won't it? We've easy got the money. So, easy got the money. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? What are you expecting today then, mate? I'm expecting a win. But we're Ipswich, aren't we? So anything could happen. But, uh, Everyone says that, you know. Everyone says that. I'm trying to be an optimist, but we should win. But Norwich are losing. You know, 90 plus 5 at the moment. We'll give them an update in two minutes' time. But um, in, in terms of town, yeah, we, we need to go for it. We've got to put aside the feelings for them. Because yeah. it's sad what's happened to a man, Berry. We've just got to get our job done. Three points, that's it. Yeah, exactly. If they want to play, if they want to play football... Yeah. Then they're going to get beaten, aren't they? If, if they come out, we win today. Exactly. Obviously, you've got to play a fair game, haven't you? Well, they said they've got youngsters playing. John Walk was 17. Yeah. Birdie was 17. Yeah. Kevin was 18. Yeah. So there you go. Who knows? They could add some future England internationals exactly. in their squad. So could we. So there you go. Yeah, exactly. So there you go. So three points then? Yeah, it should be, yeah. We've never seen us lose here. That's good. That's good. That's good. We're with him then. Never seen us lose it. It's a shame about Bolton, a shame about Berry. Fingers crossed everything will get sorted for them. You know, the life serving or long serving uh, people towards the football clubs, you know, the football leagues, and uh, be a shame to lose them, to be fair. He would like to 100% would be a shame to lose them. But, you know, there's always that thing that say that those owners mess around in football. 
Uh, it's going to come back to bite them on the arse, but that's going to take everyone with them, isn't it? Be it's going to take every. Be careful what you wish for. Oh, yeah. Let's deliver it. Be careful what you wish for. That's all we wish. <laughs> Entertainment. Right, so yeah, I'm here with Tom. Tom, so it's a good opportunity for a game against Bolton today to uh, to actually rest maybe a few players, do you think? You know, coming up against, you know, 17 to 19 year olds, you'd expect us to put out a strong squad because we want to win the game, but. Yeah. Definitely an opportunity for other players to be rested. I disagree with myself. I mean, we should come here full strength. It's a league game, ordinary league game. You come here, get the points. So what matters? Um, expect a couple of goals, but yeah, I wouldn't make no change at all. I mean, I know it's an opportunity against a bunch of kids, yeah. but that doesn't take away the opportunity that there's three points on the line here, and that's the important thing. Especially if we want to go up, we've got to take every opportunity we can get. So, would you change the side from from Tuesday night or not? I would, because I'd go back to a 4-4-2. Yeah. Obviously bring Jackson in. But um, I wouldn't make too many changes, to be fair. So what about um, Donacian, our new kebab? <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> That's Donacian. one for you, Lawsy, I'll tell Lawsy. you what. <laughs> Donacian from Lawsy. Donacian at right back, obviously a bit of a scapegoat for everyone on, on Tuesday night. Do you expect him to be in the squad today? I hope he isn't, because, I mean, he's awful. I mean, I ain't seen the worst right back at this club, and that's saying something because we've had a few over the years. Yeah. I mean, he's going to cost us games if we play him over the season. So hopefully, he has dropped. Okay. Um, in terms of, you, you said you wanted Jackson to come back in. I can see that being a natural, you know, persuasion of the the side for him to come back in. But in terms of what Bolton can do against us, do you see see them as a threat? To be honest, I don't have a clue who any of their players are because they're all blooming. Younger than me, and that's saying something because I'm not that old myself. Don't put me age up on there. Um, but they've only got—is it three senior players fit at the minute? Mm. Obviously, I think they've only got three senior players anyway. So three senior outfield players. Outfield yeah. players, yeah. So the goalkeeper's like 19. That's probably. They've, got, they've obviously got Remy Matthews, who's okay. their goalkeeper. But I think he might have been injured in the last few games. But I think he might play today. Um, but you know, it's a really good opportunity for us to get points on the table today, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. I mean, you're not going to get a better opportunity this year. You should be looking at this game um, and obviously when playing at home and Berry as well, if they do stay as a club, 12 points out of that, obviously, m minimum. Yeah, definitely. So, well, why don't you get the squad out? Um, go Whip it out. Thanks to everyone who sent in their match predictions. <laughs> There's some uh, absolute howlers in there, but we'll, we'll see. Anyway, Whippy, let's see what the squad is. Give us the squad, mate. Some of you are dreaming of those score predictions as well. Um... First of all, so we've got Holy and Goal. We've got a back four. So you've got Ken Locke, Wilson, Chambers, Kane, Vincent Young for his debut. Then you've got a midfield of Judge, Down, Scoose and Edwards. And then up top, Jackson and Norwood. Then on the bench, you've got Norris, Donacian, <laughs> Danny Rowe, Andre Dazel, Luke Wolfenden, the Cypriot, Cypriot King. Well, not the uh, Cypriot Di Maria. Oh, he's, he, he, he's anything. You can put Cypriot in front of it and just call it anything. Um, and then Hughes as well. Yeah. So, obviously, um, Kane Vincent Young's come in to, for his first start. Yeah. Um, it, you know, Lambert said he was fit enough to come straight in. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, happy with that. Um, in terms of uh, other changes, obviously, Wolfen and steps down. I think it's more of a rotation thing now. Yeah. Um, Wilson played well on Tuesday night. He'd done the simple things. And uh, deserves to still be in the starting lineup, and obviously he's got a hundred percent record in it. Ipswich shirt, so yeah, I agree with that. I mean, Wilson hasn't put a foot wrong at all this season. He's played two league games and a cup game. Um, in all those games, he's done the simple thing well, um, done the easy option. Obviously, um, I don't know why half our fans are moaning him Tuesday night because he's done everything Chambers didn't do in that Sunderland game. Mm. So. You can't complain at all. Half the time, especially in this division, you need a centre half who's just gonna get rid, yeah, get rid. Hundred percent agree. Um, what do you reckon then, mate, uh, for school predictions today? I'm gonna go three nil Town, Norwood to get a brace, and Jackson as well. Top it off. All right, love your job. Cheers, for that, mate. <laughs>
the contacts in too, guys. Right, Lee, what do you make that first half then, mate? Um, I think we should have finished more of our chances. Um, we've had three or four, and we should could have more than one goal. I know, I know the goal came from a penalty. Pretty dubious, but... Yeah, I think we should have scored more one-on-ones with the keeper. Yeah. I don't think it's that much. Keeper ain't really up for it, so... Yeah. But, we'll take one nil at half-time. It's a bit of a dead rubber today, isn't it? Um, I mean, there's 650, 700 town fans here today, but it doesn't really seem like anyone's up for it. Is that because of Bolton's position? Does it really seem like a game for us? I think Bolton's position don't help. And then obviously Ed Sheeran's obviously in town, so everyone's staying home to watch that. But yeah. I think the loyal fans come and watch whatever happens, so yeah. it's not too bad. What do you make of Bolton's support? Because obviously pretty sparse, but the ones that are here, they're making quite a noise, aren't they? Yeah, they are, to be fair to them. Their clubs in a shambles at the moment, yeah. and they can't really help it. All they can do is just come here and support the team that are playing each week, whoever it might be. Yeah. First half's been pretty lacklustre. Who do you reckon could come and make a difference? Uh, I don't know about come on, but I think Vincent Young could definitely make a difference. He's, He's looking good, isn't he? Yeah, he just keeps running at them. I don't think they can handle him very well. One step over and they don't know what's going on. So, yeah. yeah. I'd like to see Hughes come on, grab yeah. a goal as well. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Final score then, mate. 3-0 down. 3-0. Yeah. Love it. Come on.
come short then. Like that. boys 5-0 win today Troy how are you feeling after that mate yeah very very good very happy um, a bit of a mismatch really though to be fair but I was very impressed yeah with that 5-0 solid display really yeah, yeah, yeah. you happy though all, to, all around yeah I'm very happy with that yeah it's, um, very very good very solid and great goals from Jackson and Norwood yeah. yeah good good brilliant boys you know we just beat we just spanked Bolton 5-0 I mean we, it should have been 6 really but Mike will say so won't he yeah. <laughs> just come in a sec, mate. I want you to come over. Uh, actually, just get Mike in quickly. Mike, mate, you're a bit disappointed that Norwood went off, aren't you? Yeah, I had him down for a hat trick. Hat trick, and how much for? I was only a tenner. But it still yeah. would have got me 170 back. I'll have a word with Paul when I see him next time, right, yeah, mate? Yeah, yeah. Any, any goal would have done after that. Any goal would? Any goal would have done. Yeah. Do you, think, do you think, do you think, obviously, 1 0 first half, coming second half, we scored four goals? Um, it should it should have been more, shouldn't it? It should have been more, but what matters is that we got the result. We've come here, got the highest result, well, same as Tranmere, and we're all here. We're not at Ed Sheeran. We're here supporting the boys, and this is what matters, not Ed Sheeran. Whatever you say. We watched our team go top of the league. When can you say that, Ed Sheeran? <laughs> <laughs> Look, to, to be fair, the atmosphere was absolutely diabolically dead today, weren't it? It's hard to get up for a game like this at the end of the day, and I mean, you're coming here playing a bunch of kids, you expect to win. It's like England playing San Marino, isn't it? It really is. No, it really is, isn't it? You come here, expect to win by a couple of goals, and go home. I mean, it doesn't help when everyone sits down at an away game, man. Who, can, who travels five and a half hours? up the country to sit down for 90 more minutes. You take the piss, man. Plus, people waited two hours to get a divide shirt and still come here and didn't sing. I mean, stand up, get behind the boys, and let's win promotion. Stop spending 82 pound on tickets. <laughs> top, of the league, top of the league, Pete, what, what do you think, mate? Yeah, we came here, we done a job. Uh, hopefully Norwood's not was nothing too serious. Uh, he seemed to run it off afterwards, hope there's nil, no ill effects. Um, yeah, move on to the next one. Yeah. That's the important thing, three points. Vitally important that our side, can, our side came here today and actually grabbed three points, put a few goals in the back of net and took their chance to actually to show what they can do against a lesser team. 
Is it, can we all agree on that? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Any more to add? It's a hard one today, isn't it? It's hard. What, can, what more can you say? Well, yeah, all right, Kane Vincent Young. Kane we'll Vincent go to that. He's a certified baller. Certified baller, he is. He's going to be a hell of a sign. And I saw more from him today than I've seen from Donatian and Emmanuel combined in the last year and a half. 100 times better than Donatian. Oh, 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 hold on, <laughs> hold on. We've got Donatian, Donatian, Donatian. Which, which one? Which one do you think? What are you well, saying? Donatian, surely. Donatian. It's Donatian, Donatian. Donatian. As he says it. <laughs> How many different pronunciations can we get out of Donatian this week? Kane Vincent Young, uh, he's going to be starting every game. Yeah, he played really five, well, five didn't he? Goal, five goals this season. What, for Kane Vincent Young? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, trust. So who have we got next? Uh, Shrewsbury? Shrewsbury? What do we reckon then, boys? Do we reckon we can continue to stay at the top of the league while we're there? Home win, clean sheet, salty slugs are going down. <laughs> Go on, Peter. Shout out to Chambers, didn't put a foot wrong today. Oh, I knew he was going to put that in there. Just to, just to clarify, first win this season for Chambers. Definitely. He'd done well, to be fair. I didn't think he'd done too bad today. But just a shout out to all the uh, Bolton fans, done really well today, yeah. even though their team's shit. Yeah, and credit where it's due. Off the it? pitch, they're dreadful, but their fans, they were decent today. Credit where credit's due. They turned up today. Not many of them, but the, the ones got, that did. You've got to wish Bolton good luck for the rest of the season. Hopefully they get things sorted because they're a proper football club at the end of the day. They really are. They should be They should be in a higher level like we are. Um, and yeah, them and Barry just good luck and hopefully everything gets sorted before the end of the season. Yeah. Well, obviously we look ahead to next Saturday. It's our next game. Shrewsbury at home. And uh, hopefully they'll be salty and ready for it. But until then, come on, you blues!